Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Phil from Practical Media 101. In today's video, I am going to be teaching you how to speed optimize your website using the WP Fastest Cache plugin. I'm going to be teaching you how to correctly set up WP Fastest Cache in order to minimize your CSS files and your JS files and delete the cache of your website in general. Before we begin the video, kindly like, subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. Now without any further ado, let's get started. So like always, we will first need to install and activate the WP Cache plugin. So for that, let's go to the plugin section and click on add new. And from the search bar, let's search for WP Fastest Cache. Once inside, simply install and activate the plugin. As you can see, I've already installed and activated it from my side. Now you have to go into the left hand side and come into WP Fastest Cache. This is the interface that you're going to be seeing. Now it is time for you to enable some of these options. So first option that you will be able to see is cache system. You have to simply go ahead and enable this. Then you have to enable preload and you have to select a default from here and click on next. And you can enable all the content types from here that you want. For my purpose, I'm just going to be enabling the home page and the post section because my website is going to be a blog post website. So it's not going to be having any of these other things uh, have too many visitors visit into it. So I'm just going to be enabling home page and posts and let me click on next and I can select the amount of pages that I want per minute. I will just keep it at the default four, and I will click on finish. Now I have the option to enable this option for logged in users. So I will enable this and for mobile as well. And whenever they create a new post and publish it, I want it to be, it to be cached and uh, I will click on okay here. And the same thing I want for the updated post as well. So again, I will click on OK. Then I want to minify the HTML files so that the size of the page is decreased. So I will go ahead and take this and I will do the same with minify CSS. I can also go ahead and combine the CSS files if I want to. So I'm just going to be enabling this and I will do the same with combine JS as well. Keep in mind that enabling these kinds of options, it is going to be making major changes into your website's backend. So make sure that you take a full backup of your website before enabling all these changes. If you want to learn how to create a backup for your website, you can go ahead and refer to the video that is appearing in the i button and it will teach you how to take a backup of your website. So I would strongly recommend doing that and coming back to this video. Okay, so now that that is done, let's go ahead and uh, enable the gzip compression as well. By the way, if you want knowledge on what any of these terms means, you can simply click on this I button right here and you will be taken into the documentation of WP Fastest Cache where they will basically give you an explanation of what all of these things mean. Uh, for example, you can check out the gzip compression like this and uh, you can read these posts if you want to better understand what the GC, uh, gzip compression is all about. So you can do that. Okay, now coming back, I am going to be enabling the browser caching feature. And since I'm not using any kind of emojis on my website, I will disable emojis as well. So be careful with this option. If you're using any kind of emojis on your website, then uh, do not disable emojis because again, the emojis will be disabled and uh, your website front end would not work the way that that is intended. So since I'm not using any emojis, I will disable it from my side. Okay, so now that all these changes have been ticked, you can go ahead and click on the submit button. Okay, so as you can see, the changes have been saved now. So with that, the main settings of WP Fastest Cache plugin have been set up. Now let's go ahead and check out some of the side features that the plugin provides in order to better cache your website and speed optimize your site. So you have to click on delete cache. And what you'll be able to see here is that you have the option to manually delete cache from inside of here. You can clear all the cache here and you can delete the cached and minified CSS and JS files from here manually. And what you can do in addition to that is you can add timeout rules. For example, you can just go inside of here and uh, you can basically like add the different kinds of pages that you want to be cached and you can choose a specific time within which it will be basically cached on automation. So if you set twice one hour, what will happen is that two times every hour, the pages that you have put here, you can put all if you want to, if you put all, then all of the pages, twice every hour they will be cached automatically and you don't have to manually cache them from your side by coming into this delete cache option. 
So this is another feature that this plugin provides. It is a very cool feature because again, it automates things and makes your life much, much easier. Another cool feature that WP Fastest Cache provides you is the ability to clear cache off of specific pages. So here the clearing specific pages option is available. You can click on add new rule and you can put the URL of any specific page on your website that you wish to clear the cache from. So you can do that even for posts and for specific pages or for WooCommerce products. So you, you have the option to do that as well. Now, I do not have a specific page which I want to clear cache from, but if you have anyone, then you can come here at any time and you can clear the cache off of that page. Now, all the rest of these features require purchasing the premium plan in order to enable. So image optimization and the premium section we are going to be skipping over in this video. And let's go to the exclude section. Now here, this is the complete opposite section to the last section feature that we discussed because here we have the option of excluding pages and specific users from our caching rules. So if you want to, you can come here and you can add the uh, some pages that you do not want to be cached, for example. So you can go ahead and uh, most of the time what you will need to add is the login path of your WordPress site because caching the login path often creates problems and uh, uh, because because of that it might be a wise decision to come here and add the login path of your website so that you can exclude the login page from the caching uh, that the WP fastest cache would do. You can also avoid caching specific users of your website so you can come here and inside of add rules you can add a word uh, of the user like there would be a specific username and you can add any word that would be inside that username and it would exclude that user from being cached on the website. You can also exclude cookies from your website and you can exclude CSS and JS files as well. You can add specific rules here in order to like do that. For example, if you want to uh, exclude a CSS file, you can come here and add the link of the CSS file and that specific CSS file will be excluded from the caching space and do the same for JS as well. And that is basically how the exclude feature of WP fastest cache works. So the last feature that I want to discuss related to WP fastest cache is the CDN setting that it provides and how to set it up using Cloudflare. So here are the CDN options available. You can integrate the CDN by Bunny. You can integrate the CDN by Cloudflare or you can use any other CDN providers. CDN or content delivery network is basically a uh, server that allows you to speed up your website. So you can uh, integrate the CDN and uh, you can increase the performance of your website. So let me teach you exactly how to do that using the CDN of Cloudflare. Now first you have to click on this CDN by Cloudflare option and you have to get the API token for Cloudflare. For this purpose you will need to create a free Cloudflare account. So you can do that by referring to the video in the i button. Now what you have to do is that you have to log in inside of your Cloudflare account. So let me go to my Cloudflare account first. Okay, so this is my Cloudflare dashboard. Now what you have to do is that you have to go into the upper right hand section and click on my profile. And from inside of here, from the left hand side, you'll be able to see API tokens. You have to click on create token and you have to use template WordPress and you have to click on continue to summary and click on create token. Now you can copy this API key, come back to WP fastest cache backend and paste the API key here. Now that was a complete video on how to set up WP Fastest Cache plugin on your WordPress website. If you have any sort of doubt related to the terminologies we have discussed in this video, then be sure to refer to the WP Fastest Cache documentation to get a better understanding of how each and every single one of these features works. If you are looking for someone to build you a WordPress or Shopify website or are looking for consultation services on building your WordPress or Shopify, then you can check out my personal gig on Fiverr from the link down below in the description. Like always, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Phil signing off. Bye-bye.